it was really hard to get into the supply chain of code. Yeah. Really hard. Like that was years of exercise yeah. to get that and to to get that goal, right? Our action objectives. Mm -hmm. Whereas what I'm seeing today is two things. One, vibe coding, right? And 54%, like 54%, Copilot, OpenAI, Claude, all them put vulnerabilities in a code. Yep. Right? So you're automatically putting vulnerabilities in yep. code at a faster <laughs> rate than you could ever do. And the, the second one that I've seen a number of times in, in Armas, we've been searching in my continuous hunt team, searching for people downloading packages that aren't real packages. Mm -hmm. So slop squatting. Mm -hmm. Right. So before to get into a line of business application, you had to spend as a threat actor all the work in the world. All I have to do now is create a package similar to names or right? Pi for Mumby, yeah. um, Pi Mon MongoDB hyphen. And guess what? The LLMs are all going to do a variation of that and it's going to come up. You're going to download that because the vibe coding saying we are going fast with vibe coding. And now it's in your line of business application yeah. that no one ever had access to. And what they've done, they just do a wrapper around it. So it's the same library of PY MongoDB, but the wrapper above it is the command and control channel to go back out. Right. So, so you don't know any different. It's running. Right. But now your line of business application, which could never get, it hardly ever get compromised. And, and a lot of them don't even have them on external GitHubs or that sort of stuff that are internal, or, right? Is compromised, right? Well, your whole supply chain. Yeah. And that to me scares me because it used to be really hard to do that.